beauty requires sacrifices, a cliché behind which there are real human dramas and millions of lives. How was breast augmentation performed 100 years ago? And what did they use for face injections? What crazy tool was used to lose weight in the early 20th century? Why did the Romans rinse their mouths with old urine? How did they lengthen their eyelashes in the 19th century? Top 7 beauty procedures that will make a man's hair stand on end. In the seventh place, breast augmentation, lip augmentation, and anti-wrinkle treatment. You won't believe it, but the first anti-aging injections were made in the 19th century. At first, experimental doctors tried to correct the defects of appearance with the help of their own patient's fat. Unfortunately, it quickly dissolved. Then they turned to paraffin wax. It was injected in wrinkles to smooth them. Paraffin wax injections were also used for breast augmentation and even lip augmentation. But the consequences were tragic. Paraffin wax congealed under their skin in a dense heavy moss. Hard painful lumps formed under the skin or in the chest. It blocked blood vessels of the brain and lungs and provoked blindness. But the beauties and doctors were not stopped by it. A new miracle remedy was liquid paraffin. The side effect of fashionable procedures appeared only after five years. The body rejected the drug, and non-healing wounds appeared at the injection sites. In addition, a special device like a plunger was widely advertised for breast augmentation. By the way, subscribe to our channel right now not to miss the next video about the life of Horse of Babylon. Is that true that women in Mesopotamia had their own language? What was the women's life in the first civilization of the mankind history? Why were priestesses considered a model of debauchery? Is that true that every girl had to become a temple prostitute to get married? And why were the whores of Babylon the first on earth in literature, medicine, and astronomy? And don't forget to hit the notification bell. In the sixth place are the sacrifices made by humanity for the sake of a white smile, so brace yourself. In ancient Egypt, they used a special paste to preserve teeth and prevent toothache. It was made of powdered mice. Sepsis and death were attributed by doctors to the neglected condition of the patient, but not to dangerous infections carried by rodents. The ancient Romans went even further to achieve a white tooth brilliant smile. They rinsed their mouths with urine, and we are not talking about ordinary urine, but about aged in containers for a long time. Such bleach was popular, and sometimes there was not enough human urine, so animal urine was used as substitute. In general, the remedy was pretty effective because of the ammonia which bleached, but did they really need such a sacrifice? The fifth, tapeworm tablets. Well, what about the battle for a slim waist? In the 19th century, ladies also dreamed of losing weight, but there were no gyms then. The poor things suffered even worse than we. Did you see what waistlines were in fashion then? The standard of those years was considered a 16-inch waist, it is about 40 centimeters. So, to eat and lose weight, women took pills with tapeworm eggs. They planted a huge tapeworm in their body. The parasite grew inside the host, absorbing some of the food eaten. The more the host eats, the larger it grows, up to 6-10 meters long. It can travel through the body, eating the liver, kidneys, and even the brain. Oh, and there was a scandal when the content of the pills was revealed. However, mankind dreaming of losing weight didn't stop there. 
In the 40s, such waste loss machines became popular in America. They consisted of a special chair that massaged the patient's leg with metal rollers. Charm and Pallor In the fourth place are poisons. For many centuries, the most popular facial remedy was lead and vinegar, which were used to make white face paint to get that romantic pallor that was then at its peak. Lead caused aggression, headaches, vomiting, seizures and death after all. When deadly lead went out of fashion in the 19th century, a new miracle remedy appeared. It was arsenic. And it helped. Arsenic really made the skin pale, but there was a side effect. Death. A product called Dr. McKenzie's Harmless Arsenic Plates for Better Skin appeared on the market. Lotions with arsenic were applied to the skin. Arsenic was eaten. They used it to improve the blood as they believed. It was necessary to take arsenic little by little, gradually increasing the portion. The amount of poison in the body accumulated, and over time it caused thyroid problems and death. In the third is radioactive cosmetics. Yes, we are not the first who are trying to fight wrinkles. They tried before. In the 1930s, humanity found a new super remedy for wrinkles – radioactive cosmetics. Nobody knew that was deadly danger at that time. Thorium chloride and radium bromide were supposed to supply cells with vitality, increasing blood circulation, improve skin condition, prevent the aging process, smooth out wrinkles and make the skin fresh and blooming. Can you imagine that? But instead of it, beauties quickly aged and die of incurable diseases. The second, eyelash extensions. Our number two are eyelash extensions in the 19th century. We are not the first either. Here is how a newspaper advertises such a procedure in 1899. Through an ordinary thin needle, they thread a long hair, usually taken from the head. Then they clean the lower border of the eyelid and rub it with a solution of cocaine to make the process as painless as possible. Then, with a few skillful touches, the operator runs the needle along the extreme edges of the eyelid between the epidermis and the lower border of the tragus cartilage. Sounds creepy, doesn't it? Well, in the first place, crazy beauty devices invented in the early 20th century in the West world, and they make even men feel bad. Now, this is not a torture, this is how they fought against freckles. The machine froze them with carbon dioxide. The patient's eyes and nostrils were closed with airtight plugs, and she could breathe through a special tube during the procedure. And this thing was called beauty calibration device. It was invented by the father of decorative cosmetics, the Oscar winner, that legendary Max Factor, who, by the way, lived in Russia under the name Maximilian Faktorovich before Hollywood. The beauty calibrator was put on the head to measure the parameters of the face and how they relate to the standards. After that, you could eliminate the flaws with the help of makeup. In the 1940s, an electric mask was invented. It warmed face skin to stimulate blood circulation and make the skin fresher. But children were terribly afraid of their mothers. And this strange airproof device was put on patient's head to achieve a pink complexion by reducing the atmospheric pressure around the head. And this is a test of the device that made patients taller. It was invented in 1931 in the United States. According to the inventor, such a machine could increase the height of a person in 5-15 centimeters. And this is what hair permen looked like in the 20s. Isn't it creepy? Well, if you think that is too much and we would never do such things in the 21st century, just think. Today, 
women suck fat of their things for beauty, stick needles in their faces and inject deadly toxins to get rid of wrinkles. But who knows what will be written about our eccentricities in the 23rd century. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this story. Oh, and click on the bell so you get notified when the new episode comes out.